Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Causal LM has released Mini G, which is a model that is based on causal language modeling. Causal refers to models that capture causal relationship between variables, aiming to understand the underlying mechanisms and dependencies that govern the data. Causal inference is a subfield of AI focused on identifying cause and effect relationships between variables. It goes beyond statistical correlation, seeking to answer questions like what would happen if or why did this occur or how would changing X affect a Y. And then there are a lot of other things in this field like causal graphs, causal directions, confounding variables, interventions, and so on and so forth. But I'm not going to go and bore you with details like that. In this video, we are going to install this Mini-G model locally and then we will see how it works. This Mini-G model has been trained on a synthesis dataset of over 120 million entries. This dataset having been generated through the application of state-of-the-art language models utilizing larger context windows alongside methodologies same to RAG and knowledge graph integration where the data synthesis is conducted within a cluster derived from a curated pre-training corpus of 20 billion tokens. So that has validated the performance of the model by itself. The model card doesn't mention as what exactly or uh, the model was which has been used to get the 120 million synthetic entries. Anyway, so despite the absence of thorough alignment with human preferences, this model has uh, gone into a bit of a guardrails, but still it doesn't promise any sort of guarantee that there will be no NSFW data and that there will be no refusal. This comes in both text and image or vision models because it has both sort of data. The context window is very interesting. It has got 1 million token context window. Models parameters are 9 billion for text and 5 billion for width. Also, uh, for inference, you would have to make sure that you are using the proper chat format and we can use the chat template from Tokenizer and I will also show you shortly. Also, it recommends to have top P value or the nucleus sampling as 0.8 and temperature as 0.3. And this model performs well and avoid overfitting when the temperature is set to a lower value like 0.3 or 0.2. Also, um, as I mentioned, this is multilingual, both in Chinese and English, and it uses GLM49 billion format in order to work. So let's see and get it installed to go and see how it works. Before I do that, let me give a huge thanks to Mast Compute for sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. So this is my Ubuntu system terminal where I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let me clear the screen and then we will start the installation. So first up, I'm just creating this Conda virtual environment. Let's wait for it to get activated. And that is done. Let's install some of the prerequisites which include Torch, Transformers and Accelerate. And as you can see that I'm installing them from the source so that we will get the latest versions. So everything is installed now. Let me now launch my Jupyter Notebook and we will download and then use the model in the browser. Let's wait for it to get launched. So this is my Jupyter Notebook. Let's first import all of the libraries which we have installed as I have GPU. So I'm putting it on CUDA and then let's get the tokenizer for mini G. And the tokenizer has been downloaded. Let's also get our model. So in this code chunk, I'm simply specifying a query. Then I'm just applying a chat template on that query where we are defining the role and stuff. And then we are putting it to our CUDA device. And then we are getting this mini G model with low sep, you know, all of these parameters as true. So let's me download it. And it has started downloading the model. As you can see, the model size is huge. It is 28 gig 
so i'm not sure if it is going to fit on my 48 gb of vram gpu but let's see let's wait for it to finish and the model is almost downloaded almost there so model is downloaded let's try to do the inference so we are just simply specifying uh, this max length here uh, i'm just going to go with all of these parameters as of now so we are just asking the model to generate the response decoding it back with the tokenizer and printing it so let me run it and it has printed out the response and you can see the response look really good to me it's happiness is a complex and multifaceted em emotion and then it goes on and on and just talks about happiness and seems coherent to me but as it's a long context model so let's try to um, set the parameters as according to the model and then i will ask it to write some sort of story or novel so in this test what i'm doing here is i'm asking it to write a fiction novel and use following as guidelines for the novel and then i'm just giving it a plot a very simple very vague one and then i'm asking it to explore these themes this is uh, the genre and then i have given a few options and also some of the tone around dark sus suspenseful and that sort of stuff so let me run it it is going to again decode it by using tokenizer after applying the chat template and then it is going to generate the output from the model and also if you just sorry if you look here i have changed the hyperparameters to 32000 con uh, context max length of the output and then i have given nucleus sampling top ps.8 and temperature as just 0.3 as per their model card so let me run it it is running at the moment i will show you once it completes i'm also timing it so we'll let you know how long does it take to write that sort of text and there you go this is our novel it has produced and i'm showing you as is so you see it looks quite a good model i mean um, in terms of coherence it has maintained the tempo as you can see it has started the novel quite properly but it's not huge as you can see i think it is just thousand words or something like that i'm just scrolling through it hmm, pretty interesting you see so it is just going on and on and on so if i keep scrolling down you can see that there is a lot of text it has produced so i'm just going to scroll down to the end to see yeah so there you go so and it has the ending looks quite good you see the lily forever changed by her experiences left the island a different woman and she had found redemption and all that stuff as lily stepped back into the solid ground of the real world she knew she would never be the same the island had shown her the path a path of self-discovery so you see it has really done something real good there by starting to ending it has maintained the tempo it has main, maintained the coherence and looks really masterful storytelling there so all in all it looks really good in terms of context i think um, even the needle in the haystack problem should be uh, good here now in the next text what i'm trying to do i'm just trying to see how its needle in the haystack capabilities are this is a classical challenge in ai where we ask the model to find a specific relevant piece of information the needle within a large complex data set or text so i have just pasted the same thing the same novel i just truncated it a bit and then I'm asking it to find where Fahad Mirza lives by reading through the following text. Now in this text, what I have done is just in the middle of it, somewhere here. So I have just typed by myself uh, that a YouTuber Fahad Mirza lives, lived in Sydney or maybe uh, lived in Sydney. That's it. So I have, I will just um, ask, I am asking the model where Fahad Mirza lived. So let's see if it is able to find this text, this keyword um maybe i'll just say lived and then we will see how it works so rest of the lot is same it's a template uh which is being created by the tokenizer on out of my text and then it is generating the output so let me run it and there you go it found it very quickly that was means an ai youtuber lived in sydney and model has generated it because it has reworded my question so you see not only it can generate a long context novel full-blown novel plus also uh, it can do the needle in the haystack so fairly cool and this model is one of the top model 
on the hugging face leaderboard at the moment and there is a reason and you have seen the reason here that and that is pretty cool i would say and now let me show you another cool thing about this mini g model as i mentioned at the start this is a multimodal model both text and images are supported now you can just provide an image to it and ask it to write a story or just describe the image just all the vision tasks you can do on it so for instance i have just asked it to uh, write a short story on this image and then i gave it a give it an image of cathedral which is a beautiful saint stephen's cathedral in vienna austria and then i have just done the usual thing i have just provided all of it to a tokenizer and then i have asked the model to generate the text and this is the text which it has created it has just described the image here and perfectly well that what this image is what is the architecture and all the surroundings there with all the sepoids and architecture and then it is just telling us that uh, in the summary the image showcases a large Gothic cathedral with colorful geometrically patterned a roof and all that stuff so let's try out a couple more uh, tasks with it and now in the next example i have just given it this image and i'm asking it describe the image and then on the basis of that image description write a short story so let's see how it goes so it has responded to me and it has described the image it seems so yeah so I, it, I don't think so it is following the instruction maybe i would need to call it again after getting this image um, sort of evaluated but if you look at the response it is very detailed very meticulous and spot on so for example it uh, very correctly says that a flock of birds is flying in a v formation which you can see and then the overall composition of Im image is harmonious in conclusion image captures a moment of tranquility in the african savanna it is wrong because it is kangaroos are not in africa they're in australia but anyway other than that looks quite good so vision capabilities are okay i would say now um, let me run one final test on the vision now in this final vision test i'm not asking to generate the story because i don't think so it can generate the stories from images but still um, i'm asking it which lane should i drive in this image so let's see if it is able to uh, direct me as which lane should i select out of this image let's wait for it it is running shouldn't take too long so all in all i think um, the text generation capabilities are simply amazing really really powerful model in terms of very long context it can generate books novels easily no problem there but i think as far as image uh, or vision is concerned again vision understanding is really outstanding um but i was hoping that it would be able to generate like if it has if if it can understand the images it should be able to also generate a story around it but that is fine you see now it says i may depict a traffic signboard mounted on a metal framework that is true likely above a highway or expressway the signboard is divided into three sections first section left lane closed very good middle and right so and now it is telling me the metal framework supporting okay so it is just describing the image and then this is analysis and description signboard structure text and symbol and then conclusion the image shows a traffic signboard indicating uh, the two lanes are closed and one lane is open for autos bus and rvs this information is crucial for drivers to navigate the highway safety and uh, safely and efficiently the use of color coded symbol so it is very apparent that it only describes the images that's it nothing else so maybe i think if you're looking to generate a story out of images what you need to do is to just reduce the image and then use all of this just store it all of it in the variable and then call the model again to generate a story around it that is the only way which i could think of but anyway really good model i really like it i mean it combines both text generation and image into one which is quite cool and the text generation is really simply sublime so that's it guys i will drop the link to the model in video's description if you like the content 
please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network and yes final thing i will drop the code in my blog so that you can copy paste and run this model because you won't find this code on their portal card it took me hours to get this right if you uh, like the channel please support it and there's a copy button on the main page i would highly appreciate if you could uh, support it and buy me a coffee and if nothing else please subscribe to the channel thank you